Hello, what's going on YouTube? This is Jay Money here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I have recently found a new locals in the Denver area, so that's pretty great. But I still needed to um, make a video for you guys, so I've decided to do a top five. My first top five is going to be um, the top five engines, you know, splashable engines, more or less, that can be played. Um, for the upcoming format when Circuit Break hits the scene. And so, um, these engines, um, you really can't play many top decks without at least one of these engines, so I've noticed. And a lot of the Rogue decks can also compete as well um, with these engines. And I do want to apologize if there's a bit of noise in the background. I'm in a truck, uh, I'm not driving. So, I had little to no time to do this, so I have to register for this um, OTS tournament. Um, and first place gets a fridge, so that's pretty nice. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start at number five, the Kaiju engine. The Kaiju engine, and I, I wanted to do the Wind Witch engine at first, but then I realized that it's slowly not being as plain it gets answered a little bit more uh, not only that but it's only really being played in one to two decks a kaiju engine is probably the most splashable engine on this list due to how small um, of a main deck commitment you really need to pull this off now when we recently got our kaiju slumber put to one but when it was at two how it would work was you would run two more kaijus um, in correlation to how many slumbers you are playing. But now the slumbers at one, we only need to play three kaijus, so that's a relatively small investment of four main deck space to answer your opponent's um, threats. Now you would generally be running a copy of Thunder King, a Gamma Seal, and something else in the middle. It would generally be Dogram, but if you are playing Wind Witch Engine, you could be playing um, the wind kaiju you could also play something like raiden if you're playing a dark deck that uses a lot of darkness or just kiru for you know if you're playing anything like cyber dragons or whatnot so the kaiju engine is definitely solid and one we're checking out for now moving on to number four we have yes the spellbook engine the spellbook engine is starting to make its way to a lot more decks i've seen it's being used to true dracos you can use it in World Chalice, it can be used in Dark Magician, It's you can even use it in spell in um, Pendle Magicians if you really so choose. But the deck is consistent enough, but any deck that really doesn't value their normal summon all that much can splash this engine and get themselves some free cards and free advantage, open up more plays, and there's really not much else I can say there it's even being played in paleos because blue boy is just so happens to be a level two water to where you can it's just extra synergy for that matter the fact that you can literally open either secrets or blue boy and get yourself an instant draw to off of knowledge is what makes this um, a very um, a worthy engine to be playing now moving on to number three we this is a little bit of an unexpected one, but we have the True Draco engine. The True Draco engine, um, before the ban list, has started being sloshed in a little bit number more decks. I've noticed with ABCs, um, that's a nice car, but um, and other other decks to the sort because of the fact that Diagram is still at three here, Masterpiece is still at three, and yes, we lost our Dynamite, which kind of sucked, but we can still rest on things like Maiden and get our masterpiece and if we have searched a trap recently with diagram um then that's just better for you but if you already open a spell card this is where this engine fits it a little bit higher in the list if you open one of the spell cards you can do your regular normal summon you can do all your special summons and then you can play this diagram and search your masterpiece for free and essentially summon it out to the field because the true draco spells they just give you an extra summon uh, at really no cost. And a lot of decks are playing more continuous spells and traps. Um, Panel Magician is a very, very big one. You can even splash the engine in that deck if you so choose. 
Um, it could be splashing ABCs, popping the pieces that are equipped in the spell and trap zone to float and get you even more advantage than what you already had. And so that is good there. And so, yes, the true Draco engine, I be, you know, albeit might be a little bit weakened, it's still very splashable because Diagram and Masterpiece are both very much at three. Now let's go ahead and move on to number two. This is another unexpected one, but we have the future engine, the Destrudo engine, or the Field Spell engine. Seeing how how Destrudo's a dragon, um, dumping it with cards like Dragon Ravine is really, really good, considering that for us in the TCG, Ravine did recently get unlimited from semi-limited to three. We still have Terraforming at three, Set Rotation at three, and so this field spell engine um, serves uh, two purposes. One, it gets us instant access to double field spells for those for those of us that can knock it, um, i.e., ABCs, um, like things like True King Dinosaurs, anything that can play multiple field spells, or anything that runs a bunch of level fours like Spirals can abuse this engine entirely because of the fact that not only can Ancient Fairy search us another field spell, but it grants us an extra special summon on top of that. And all the while, since more decks are relying on field spells, um, field spells like Oracle of Zephra and Gateway to Chaos are still really detrimental to your opponent because these are forced adds, so if they don't have any Zephra or Black Luster cards in their main deck, they can't flip this over and they can't activate their own field spells and their place can only go so far. So this is a future engine that will be played in more than just one to two decks. It will be played in any deck that runs field spells because it's that consistent. Or, or correct me, um, correction, any deck that runs field spells in a bunch of level four monsters. So that's the more correct one. You can also use it with things like ABC, Spirals, um, setting gear talents to their field as some of the spiral builds have been doing just to get extra advantage it's just an all-around great engine now moving on to number one some of you might have saw this coming but we have the Preda plant engine this engine is a very very phenomenal engine if you have the main deck space for it literally it's a one card plus two or three depending on what deck it is Literally, if you start off with just their Scorpio, Scorpio gives you, um, leads into uh, Invoker, into Mrs. Radiant, into Seraphonite, getting you Thousand Blades and Trick Clown. So you have an instant four monsters on the field with an additional normal summon. It's almost as if you'd never have normal summoned in the first place. And, but what this engine can accomplish is all, more or less all rogue decks that use this extra deck can splash this engine and play their stuff. This is the absolute best way to do it because you can make Mrs. Radiant uh, with an extra, with a Seraphonite, so you have your additional normal summon, so after you use that said normal summon, you can link the Seraphonite and the, um, either the Thousand Blades or whatnot into a Proxy Dragon if you need really three extra deck spots to begin with, or you can just link um, if not, you can link Proxy and use the Trick Clown and make um, Deco Talker so you can have your two negates if you really need to free up your zones. So this, this engine is all around great because it gives you an instant rank four. Um, in case, if you really don't need um, your extra deck space for really much of anything else, if let's say you're going second and your opponent sets a couple of back row, well, you can use that Trick Clown in your Thousand Blades and go into your Tornado Dragon to um, bait out some back row, disrupt your opponent a little bit. And then you can link with it a little bit later and you can take it from there. If you're playing a Light Sworn deck, you can make Instant Minerva and just get even more free advantage um, for absolutely no cost. So literally, with a Predator Press Scorpio, you send a monster from hand, so you neg two but you gain a Mrs. Radiant, a Seraphonite, and two extra monsters, so you plus two off of that engine. So this engine is probably the most phenomenal engine because it gives you so much value for just one card. So guys, 
that is my uh, top five list. <laughs> um, I wanted to add, I wanted to um, invoke and I wanted Wind Witch engines to be in the top five, but I found, found that these engines uh, just do a little bit more for more decks. So let me know what you guys think about uh, my top five list. That was my first one. I plan to do more in the future. And so, yes, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is J Money, and I'm signing out.